Um, our story begins with a dear friend's son um, named Nico, who very tragically suffered a spinal cord injury due to a, a freak accident back on November 4th of 2009. Nico at that time was 15 years old, a very young, active athlete. He's the oldest of three boys in his family. Um, and when we got the call, um, of course, you feel you just want to do something. You feel very helpless. And um, I presently live in California, but my relationship is that um, I'm from Pennsylvania, which is where Nico and his family reside. Uh, our children went to school together, and we were uh, members together at the same church. And so being quite a distance away, wanted to help. We went in to see Nico. And at that point, I spoke with his parents about the possibility of starting a community on Lots of Helping Hands. My initial experience with Lots of Helping Hands was as a member, not a coordinator, uh, for a mom in my area in California who had just had knee surgery. And it was a way of um, arranging play dates, rides for her children, and meals for the family. It lasted a few months long, but was a very effective tool. And so uh, just a few weeks after Nico's accident, we had the site up and running. We had tapped into every community. We hit families, friends, neighbors, church, school, and of course, we're colleagues. And uh, we're overwhelmed with the response, with people wanting to become members and to help the family. Uh, again, we're more than 900 members strong. We initially thought the site would be a great tool for communication as Nico's parents needed to be at the intensive care unit for almost two months at Jefferson Hospital and then on to rehab for nearly five months at McGee Rehabilitation. Um, and so from communication, I must say this is a unique family. It's, um, they are multilingual and have lived outside the United States. And so their friends and family are from all over the world, Argentina and Switzerland, France, Africa, England. And so we're a multinational, multilingual community. Um, and you can never reach those families without lots of helping hands. Um, from there, we extended our help to meals for the family, uh, coordinating yard work for the family, uh, rides after school for Nico's brothers from swim meets and play practice. And then we also got into fundraising. And everybody wanted to do something. And so it was wear denim to work day or it was uh, baking cookies, it was, it was garage sales, it was kickboxing, it was Broad Street Run, a golf tournament, wristbands, you name it. People are as creative and um, enthusiastic to do anything to help. And so again, we're able to do this with the communication of lots of helping hands. We can post these events, we can thank people for their efforts, we can post pictures, and it keeps our community connect it, um, dedicate it, uh, and, and they're just a great resource for us. We have a few other coordinators that also help me uh, because we are multilingual. We do the translations of the daily posts in Spanish, and then we have another friend who helps with the fundraising piece of everything. Um, certainly this experience has been life-changing for all of us uh, on many levels. Um, I think we appreciate our health and our family and all that we have each day, um, we're all comforted that we're able to be connected on a daily basis. Uh, it's been a humbling lesson to watch this young man who two days after his accident also suffered a stroke and was really touch and go for some time. And yesterday for the first time we have video of him doing locomotive therapy and trying to walk again. And so um, I, I can't say enough of the, the opportunity and the tool and the ability to connect all these people. And, and I, I can't tell you how many times Nico and his parents have thanked us because they always say they could never have gotten this far if they didn't have the support of all these people just holding them up in, in, in their words. So uh, I'd just like to thank you for the opportunity. It's, it's wonderful, and we're still going strong. And I have other people who have begun their own groups uh, just through being part of Team Nico.